The Grand Etang Lake behind me is appearing small and smaller as water-loving plants take up more and more of this aquatic creature. However, a new recruitment drive have started to find personnel to operate new machinery to help clear the lake, which would make this 36-acre tourist attraction site more visible. Back in 2010, efforts were made to have the reeds removed from the Grand Etang Lake, which started covering a portion of the lake. However, in the last nine years, the growth of these water plants has increased significantly. A partnership between the government of Grenada and GIZ will not only save the lake from being consumed entirely by these plants, but will also ensure the constant supply of water to the general public. Dieter Rottenberger, head of the GIZ programs in Grenada, explained the importance of clearing of the reeds at the lake. Well, the Grand Tang Lake is very important uh, as, a, as a water storage and for the water supply, in, in particular in the, in the dry season, for Nawasa. Um, and what we see, and I think everybody can see that uh, we overgrowth with reed and with plants of, of the lake is uh, yeah, getting more and more, and that has some impact on the yeah, capability of the Grand Tang to actually perform these kind of water management uh, uh, tasks. That means, for example, the storage capacity is decreasing, uh, because there's less water then which can be taken for, for water supply. There's also um, more e so-called evapotranspiration. That means basically more water uh, is being released, more humidity is being released through the plants. And uh, again, uh, it's less water available for the water supply. By clearing at least parts of the, of the plants on the lake, uh, we are attempting to improve these kind of issues. The new machinery that has been sourced is presently on island and its estimated cost is 100,000 euros. It was funded by the International Water Storage Program, IWASP, through the UK and German governments. Rottenberger added that the machine chosen is low in maintenance and very simple to operate. As a result, they have extended the recruitment of operators to members of the general public, befitting the criteria. But we also said it might be interesting for some people from the public uh, who are used, for example, for using a backhoe, because basically the machinery itself uh, is very similar to, you know, using a backhoe. It's just then, of course, the maybe additional challenge, if you want, that uh, that is on the water. Uh, so that's the, the, the difference. So basically, the key requirement is that you have experience with such kind of machinery on land, and ideally, of course, that you, uh, um, yeah, Maybe if you can even combine it with having some boat experience, you know, uh, on, 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 on sea, that would be perfect. However, the minimum requirement is that people are able to swim. Uh, although uh, it is not r a risk per se, that, uh, or it's not a big risk that people uh, might, might fall in the water, but still, I think to absolute uh, safety is top. Therefore, uh, we have uh, said people must be able to swim. There will also be safety gear like uh, life vests uh, and so on. Um, but s being able to swim and being able to operate a backhoe, uh, this we would see are kind of the two key, key requirements. Clearing of the reeds is expected to commence from August for a duration of six weeks, followed by a once yearly maintenance. Akisha Felix for GBA.